Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Tri Princess, where we left off with this cutscene. There was another world entirely, the Antith... Ah! Antithesis? Antithesis. Antithesis, we'll go with that. Of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk where shadows of Hyrule... Or mere shadows of hell. Meh. <laughs> well, I've messed that up. This is the history of Twilight as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? Nope. I am a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. Yeah, I probably could have fit that in the last part. Oh well. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> it was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into Shadow Beasts. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without its power. Come on, come on. <laughs> but there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Oh my god, I'm this hitting on this. <laughs> anyway, let's cross the desert. Right, I'm probably going to start collecting the golden bugs because now we've got to the desert, we can get 23 of the 24 bugs. The 24th bug we can't get for a while, actually. Anyway, um. Is this. Oh, there's something over here. I remember this bit. <laughs> yeah, there's quite, there's quite, some, quite a few stuff hidden in this desert. Right, first such thing. Dig here. If I remember correctly, there's some pose down here. Nope, I feel I remember wrongly. Right, I'm um, gonna go here. And get to my. Feel free to use the lantern if you think you need it. <laughs> yeah, because you can fight while your lantern's out. I think you can shield attack these guys, actually. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we've got one left. That's good. Let's see. Shield attack. Yeah, you can. Shield attack. We got a chest. I think the pose must be in a different hole then. Ooh, rupees. Very nice. A hundred rupees! And I think that's everything in here. Oh! Ah, oh, it's just a rock. Let's take it with. Oh, Vaz. Whatever. Let's take it with us. Ah. Oh. Well, we got some reapers at least. Thought there was a heart piece there, but never mind. Got some pose. Maybe there's some pose, just not yet. Well, yeah, there's the around here. So, let's go onwards. Right, I'm gonna start collecting the bugs, probably. Because there's two bugs here, it's better to get them now than later. Oh, human in here. I need a close shot. 
Cloche. Open sesame for 20 rupees. These guys just pull a shot out of the and kill it. They've only got one HP there. Right, we've got a fence here, remember that's there. And also it's a good landmark because we've got a bug around there, I think that yeah that's it. You can see it from there. Wait for it to land and catch it. Or come in low and catch it. A male daylight bug! Oh boy. I was lucky. Alright, we've got a chest there, but I don't think we can get it yet. Now we need something later. I'll tell you where we can go though. We can go up here. Yeah. That's close. supposed to come up here. Yeah. Yes we are. <coughs> here we go, we can now, once we clear this, we can now warp here and back without having to pay the cannon guy. One, two, three. Alright, get one on his own, then kill the other two that are together. They're together, so one on his own, kill you. Get these guys together. And kill them both. Well, my nunchuck rattles a lot when I shake it. <laughs> and yeah, we've got this teleport open. So let's climb up here. And I just need to check. Okay, now I'm checking if my uploads are still going. 55, number 55 is 72% complete. Alright, um, you want to press up on the D-pad here, touch mid -neck. What is this thing? Let's warp it. Alright. In case you hadn't guessed. Ooh, stop talking to me. <laughs> Someone's messaging me now. Okay. And I'm back, sorry. <laughs> and we're warping the bridge. And we're getting what to. And this is one of the heart pieces that I was saving for later. Because now we've got the bridge restored, it's more convenient to get it now. I think if you do that Epona glitch and you leave Epona still in the bridge gap, she's still here when you warp it back. Funny if it is. Never tried it. Anyway, let's just go through here, and here it is. Let's go, human. Just blow this up for money. Poor shoddy. Yeah, so now I'm gonna. There is a bug here I can get, but I'll probably just get it. Try to keep them all in one part, really. Might be next part I do it, actually. There it is. Pull a shot point. I think that's the pull shot point. Yeah, it is. So up we go. And along this ledge. Yeah, there's a bug on the wall here. Somewhere. There it is. Grab it now if you want, but I'll just put them all in one part to make it easier. 
Right, one of these. Oh! Well, right, you'll need iron boots for this bit. And. Well, well. Put it back. Uh, let's see. I may as well keep this the same part. Yeah, I'll cut here. I'll uh, see you next part where we do this maze, and I'll probably get some bugs next part, so see you there.